A fiery street takeover and damage done at this car dealership. Well, tonight, no arrests and a business owner left with a mess to clean up. KCAL's Leslie Marin is in University Park tonight where it all happened. LAPD is now looking into whether this street takeover is connected to another one that also happened early this morning in South LA. Take a look at some of the damage. You can see the uh, burnt out roadway here and take a look. This street marker also melted after a car was lit on fire. You can hear tires screech as video catches a group of people huddled around a car before someone sets the car on fire. Oh, police just came too. The crowd quickly disperses as police sirens are heard, but the damage from another street takeover is done. So some of this is glass, but much of this is scratches to the paint. Jason Sycon shows us the damage done to the paint on this 1950s Ford truck. During the chaos, someone broke the glass of the Felix Chevrolet dealership which damaged the show car. It didn't appear that anybody actually tried to enter the premises, which is fortunate for us, but we still have a lot of damage to do. LAPD responded to two large street takeovers early Tuesday morning. This one happened at Figueroa and Jefferson near USC around 3.30 in the morning. You can see people doing donuts as the car burned dangerously close to the dealership. Another one happened in South LA where a car was also burned. What is probably most important to me is the level of violence, the spectacle, the destruction, the property damage. Commander Craig Valenzuela says LAPD's Street Race Task Force is making progress to stop the takeovers, but they are still being fueled by social media and a lack of criminal consequences for the hundreds of spectators that show up. Here in the city, the, the biggest thing we can do is write an administrative citation for a spectator. Um, and the cost of that administrative citation is pretty low. It, it's either two or $250. Earlier this year, LAPD crime stats showed an increase in takeovers, but Valenzuela says it's not just a city problem. People that are out there doing this, they have moms and dads and aunts and uncles and priests and pastors and brothers and sisters, and I would ask all of them to, to intervene. Back at the Felix dealership, they shared this video of another street takeover that happened during the day last year. They say they are common, but now getting worse. The first time wasn't as big of a deal. This time now it's later at night and things are getting damaged. The problem seems to be getting worse. I hope we can find a way to come to a resolution where we don't have to deal with this so much anymore. The dealership says they will be upping security patrols through the night. As for LAPD, they have not made any arrests just yet, but the Street Race Task Force is working with the Southwest Division to identify any of the people seen in those videos. Reporting from University Park, Leslie Marin, KCAL News.